fellow Monkophiles. As you can see, I have decided to redesign the homepage again. As the greatest detective in the universe would say, you'll thank me later. Love to all, Marcy. Bye bye. That's better. Oh, God, my God, Natalie. Oh. It's that girl, that Marcy Maven, my crazy fan. Oh, Natalie, hello. Uh, I need to speak with Adrian. Oh, sorry, you just missed him. He's, um, uh, he's getting his hair cut. I know he's here. Okay, he left at 8, he came back 35 minutes later. And besides, he only gets his hair cut every first and third Tuesday of every month. He's behind the door. I can smell his shampoo, Pantene for dry hair. Listen, I really need to speak with him. It's important. I'm in trouble. Yeah, that's what you said last year, Marcy. You said it was a matter of life or death. But when he got in the car, you locked the door and tried to drive him to Corpus Christi. It was Thanksgiving. What did that have to do with anything? Listen, it's different this time. My neighbor got killed. They're blaming my dog. Somebody's framing my dog. Okay, Marcy, they called the police. I said they don't believe me. Okay, Marcy, Marcy, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You should go on? Yeah. It's me, Marcy Maven. Hello. Right on time, of course. <laughs> it's okay. Right here. Come in, come in, come in. Oh. You can pick them up at 6 o'clock. No, 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 she's with me. I can't do this alone. Well, Adrian, I, I bid on you. I mean, I don't think we need a chaperone. Yeah. <laughs> 6 would be great. Yeah, she's with me. I can't. Do this alone. Okay, fine, good. More the merrier. I just, I hope I made enough cookies. Oh, I painted this for you two years ago for your birthday, but um, Judge Franklin wouldn't let me give it to you because of the restraining order. You know, 50 yards away and no contact. <sighs> Jerk. Oh, uh, please make yourselves at home. Sit down. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. I'm nervous, you know? I've just been imagining this for so long, you know? You, Adrian Monk, you're really here. <laughs> oh, so rude. Here we go. Summit Creek water. It's his favorite. <laughs> I know. Well, do you know what his favorite drink was last year? I do. Sierra Springs. Hmm. Uh, 10 ice cubes, of course. <laughs> And some cookies fresh from the oven. They're square. <laughs> I knew you would appreciate that. Yeah, I've been baking all day and cleaning. I wanted everything to be perfect. Mercy, is this my glass? <laughs> Not anymore. You threw it out, remember? <laughs> And yes, this is your rug, and yes, that's your lamp, and yes, these are your pants. Don't worry, not crazy, just a fan. <laughs> you are amazing. But you know that, don't you? His pants? You know what I love? I love how you solve cases, the way you move around, and you, you look at things, and you, you see things no one else sees. I love that. I mean, you really... You really are a great artist. Well, a uh, great artist. I don't know about that. I mean, it's... Is there a problem? No, 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 no. He's a great artist. That's why I went to the auction, because I really am in trouble. I need your help, you know? So do you want to talk about the case now, or should we just relax for a little while? What are the choices again? Relax or talk about the case. Yeah, relax. Let's just 
relax. Mm. Plenty of time. Five hours, 52 minutes. Mm. my favorite. It, it's from last summer. See, what I do is I read the articles about you, and then I make dioramas of the various cases. This one is Mr. Monk and the Three Pies. What? When you went to see your brother, that's what I call it. Is that me? Adrian, should we call the captain? Not yet, Marcy. We need to gather more evidence. Natalie, get the car. On my way, Mr. Monk. Is that me? It's a troll doll. Huh. Marcy, I can't imagine life without you. Oh, Adrian, I've waited so long. Mar uh, Mar 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 hmm. Marcy, are you a musician? Oh, oh you know I am. I've only sent you all my demos. Oh, I'm working on a song here. <clears throat> There's a man in California if you're ever in a funk. He may not be F. Murray Abraham, but I think he's a hunk. And his name is... Marcy, on second thought, why don't you tell me about the case? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, can we start over? You had a dog, his name was Otto. Yeah, that's right. And Otto died last week? Monday, yeah. Well, I, I buried him Monday night. So, he's in the ground, dead, dead, dead dog. And then three days later, on Thursday, the woman across the street was attacked? By, by a dog. Yeah, she was mauled. Isn't that the grossest word? Mauled. Mauled. I mean, Otto had snapped at her last year, but it wasn't a big deal. But of course, you know, the cops naturally think that he did it, so they dug him up to compare the teeth marks. And they matched. Well, that's what they say, yeah. They're gonna return him tomorrow. I guess I'm gonna have to bury him again. So, to recap, dog dies on Monday, and three days later kills your neighbor. Pretty freaky, huh? And the dog was definitely dead when you buried him. Yeah, the dog was definitely dead when I buried him. What do you think, I'm a nut? Uh... What do you think, Adrian? I stopped thinking an hour and a half ago. What do you think? I think we should call the captain. <clears throat> Can I help you? This is Adrian Monk. He's going to be asking you some questions. What about? You'll find out. First, there are some ground rules. No coughing, no sneezing. You will not shake his hand. You will not make small talk. Do you understand? Lower that sleeve so it's even with the other one. He's very particular. Have you seen this dog? No. Thank you. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.